I'm Melanie Hunt, and today we're diving into the Metro Atlanta real estate market, specifically focusing on November 2023. If you're in the market or just curious about the trends, you are in the right place. Let's start with the big picture. The median sales price is making money up by a solid 5.4% compared to November of last year. Currently standing at a robust 379,512. Meanwhile, the average sales price has seen even more significant increase. It's up by 9.4% to $456,000. Breaking it down even further, the price per square foot has climbed 5% over the last year reaching $196 a square foot. This indicates sustained demand for real estate in the area and homeowners are seeing their investments grow. Now let's talk about how quickly are homes moving off the market. Days on market are down by a whopping 16% compared to last year, with the median days on market at just 16 days. Those are the homes that are actually contract. There are many, as you'll hear next, that seem to kind of be sitting around. Taking a look at the inventory situation, we're seeing a 4% increase in new listings hitting the market, which means we have more options on the market heading into the holiday season. But here's the bit of a twist. Pending sales are down by 16%. So while there's more inventory, it seems that buyers might be kind of taking a little bit of a step back this month. Right now, we're sitting at a total of 2.9 months of inventory. This is inching closer to a balanced market. Now, keep in mind, a balanced market is considered anywhere from four to six months of inventory. Under that is a seller's market. We're still very much in a seller's market. The market dynamics are definitely shifting a little as we head into the holiday months. What will keep it interesting is interest rates. Stay tuned to hear about that. So if you're a potential buyer, this one is especially for you. Interest rates are on the decline, and the Federal Reserve has hinted at the possibility of three more rate cuts in 2024. Now, why does this matter? Well, as a buyer, for every 1% drop in interest rates, a staggering 8 million more home buyers will enter the market. That is a significant game changer as far as competition goes. If you're in the market or thinking about making a move, it's essential to understand the strategic implications of so waiting for the end of the year for rates to drop might seem like a smart move, but here's the catch. If rates continue to fall, home prices are likely to rise even faster. We just heard that home prices rose past year about five to 9%, depending on which stat you're looking for. So statistically speaking, buying sooner with a slightly higher rate and then refinancing into a lower one could actually make you more money. Let me break it down. When you buy at a higher interest rate, you're likely securing it at a lower purchase price. Then as interest rates continue to fall and more buyers flood the market, home prices are going to go up. By refinancing into a lower rate at that point, you're capitalizing on the equity that you have, eventually dropping PMI, lowering your mortgage payment, and stretching that dollar as far as it will go. There you have it, a strategic approach to navigating the changing interest rate landscape in real estate. If you're a buyer, we're keeping a close eye on those rates for you. And if you're a seller, we're keeping a very close eye on all of the interesting dynamics of selling. If you found this information helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more information on real estate. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next one.